What's up guys, this is iTweaks here for iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a newly updated tweak for iOS 7 called Folder Enhancer. Now Folder Enhancer was a groundbreaking tweak, it allowed you to do a ton of different things with your folders that you weren't actually able to do once it came out. But a lot of the features have actually been implemented into iOS 7 so you're really not going to have a ton of features as you once did but it is still a good tweak. Now you can see here if I tap on the folder icon we have that wallpaper zoom and we also have that animation as you can see it's just zooming into the folder. Now there's some things you can change and I'm going to show you this by going into the folder enhancer settings right here and you can see you can toggle on and off the animation so if we toggle that off you're going to see that it's going to automatically open when I tap it. There's no animation going on right there. So you can change that up. Also, if we go back in here, we'll turn the zoom or the animation back on. And now we can toggle off the zoom wallpaper. So if we go back, you're going to notice that the background does not move whatsoever as we zoom in. And usually it does do a little bit of a zoom. So just to show you guys, we'll turn the zoom on. You can see it zooming in the background right there just a little bit. So let's go back in here. And you can also close all the folders when you open an app. So usually when you open up an application, you can see here, let's say we want to open up Pandora. And then when we close the app, we're back in the folder. Now, if we go back into the settings and we toggle on app launch right here, you're going to see that when we open up a folder, open up an app and close it, it's actually going to close right back to the springboard. So this is actually uh, pretty useful in my opinion. I like that. Now if we go back here and you can also toggle this on for the home button. So if we tap on that and then let's say we wanted to make a nested folder. So let's go ahead and do that with Starbucks and Bank of America here. All right, so now we're in a folder inside a folder. So if we hit the home button, you can see that's going to close automatically to the springboard when usually it would close out of that folder. So you can see if we go into the folder, into the nested folder, and then into an application, and we close out of it, it goes automatically back to the springboard. Also down here, you can change up the icon layout if you want to do that. So we'll change it to the 4x4. You obviously do have to respring in order to do this. There is a 5x5, but that's only going to work on the iPad. So let's go ahead and respring our device. All right, and we're resprung. And now you can see when we open this up, we have 4x4. Four four. So let's open this up. Let's try to get some uh, some more icons in here. I think I have some on the next page, yeah. And luckily, I have Icon Mover. So this is going to be pretty easy to do. I think that's all I need. So there you go. You can see a 4x4 four four layout. And really, I mean, it's really not that bad. I'm kind of a fan of that. It does look kind of cluttered when it's on the... Uh, on the springboard like this so you're looking at the folder right here I think it looks better when you're actually in the folder but right here it looks kinda cluttered I don't know what do you guys think about it let me know in the comments below and as always if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and if you want to see more of my videos then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel alright guys until next time this is iTweaks for iPhonehacks.com